in this video um, I want to talk about some dental crowns uh, typically we get a lot of questions in our clinic as to uh, what a crown is or when uh, a patient might need a crown um, so these are I have a few selected dental crowns here I have a zirconium crown here this is for a premolar tooth you have the hollow part here and then you have the top part on the other side of it uh, that side there you have a porcelain fused to metal uh, it's got porcelain on top and then it's got metal in the inside this is the hollow part that goes around the tooth um, I have a gold crown here uh, this is a cast metal um, these we used to do use these a long time ago uh, we still use them today but they're very good for back teeth they're very strong and last a very very long time here I have another metal that's a cast metal um, and we also use these in the back uh, or the mouth I also have a few cases here um, I have one here um, of a patient I have uh, we did two crowns on this patient uh, there is this one here and then there is that one there so I'm going to take those off so you can see what they look like and go like that so that's after the crown has been removed and then I'm going to put it back on like that which makes it kind of hard I'm going to use my little uh, instruments here uh, there is one coming off like that that's one and then I'm going to put it back on and put it back on like that um, and I'm gonna take this one off like that like that and then put it back on like that and that's how a dental crown is now these are just regular crowns uh, you can also have a crown on top of an implant so here's a crown that was made on top of an implant and I'm going to take this crown out uh, the bottom part that you're seeing here this is the implant and now how we make this here uh, there's a lot of details to that I'm not going to go into that video into that detail in this video but uh, we place the implant in the patient's mouth we take an impression uh, we send it to the lab the lab makes this model here uh, they send it back they make the crown like this we get the crown back we put it in like that uh, like this right here like that and then there's a little screw uh, that goes inside of there to tighten it up to make it strong and then we close that up with some material now when all of that's been done you want to make sure that you can bite correctly uh, you may have to check the bite here as a dentist and then we may have to adjust this a little bit uh, to make sure that it bites correctly uh, the same thing in a regular crown you want to do the same thing that you can bite that the patient can bite that looks nice and good um, that's how you do that and then before you you do that before you you send this out to the lab you're gonna have a shade guide this is a shade guide that tells you what color of a crown to pick uh, to match the patient's teeth so if you're making a tooth uh, to match that tooth there you have to come to this shade guide and pick one that tells you how to match it because if it's in the front teeth the patient is not going to be happy if the teeth look uh, different so we'll come to the shade guide and I'll go through this row and I'll just kind of try to match and see which one's going to be the best match for that one uh, uh, those two are pretty close but not as close as I would want them to be if I was trying to match it to that uh, and then I and then I would have to go to the next one I have to look down the list if I try to pick this guy here uh, that's a little bit too dark than I want it to be to match that so I wouldn't pick that one um, and then if I come to something maybe a little bit lighter uh, maybe a little bit too light uh, a little bit lighter than I would like and maybe just another shade tad darker than that one and 
uh, until you get something that's very very similar so these are pretty close here uh, but you have to just go through the the row here and make sure that you found one uh, that matches uh, the patient's uh, color so this is just one shade guide depending on what material you're using uh, there are many different types of shade guides um, and then when that's been done uh, then you're gonna the, the dentist obviously is gonna check to make sure that you can floss in between your teeth um, I'm big in flossing I always tell all my patients to floss uh, so you come in here and you should be able to floss in there floss like that and that goes through you can pull that out like that you should be able to floss I can go to this model here and try to do the same thing uh, when you come here uh, you should floss you should be able to floss in there it may be a little bit tight but we should be able to adjust that and that you can floss like that you go to the mesial or that tooth you should be able to floss it may be tight but you should be able to floss now the question that we normally get from a lot of patients is how long are these going to last uh, dental crayons really can uh, they last a long time uh, I've seen them especially these uh, metal ones I've seen the, these last a lifetime uh, I have some family members that have some that they've lasted they have them uh, they've had them in their mouth mouth for about 50 years plus now dental insurance will uh, repay for one after five years uh, that's typically what they say you know if, if you've had one put on like this or this it should last you about five years but really if if you're good with flossing at home and brushing at home they should uh, um, last you a lifetime so the, the home care for these is the same you brush these the same as you do your natural teeth uh, they shouldn't they shouldn't hurt unless there's an abscess that develops in your tooth like somewhere around here and then you may have to get a root canal through the crown and try to fix that but the way you fix the way you take care of these is the same as your natural teeth in fact some of these back molars here we recommend after as you age that you get crowns made because uh, these teeth tend to uh, if you grind your teeth a lot or if you have a lot of stress in your life these teeth tend to break here and if they break then you may have to take that tooth out and then do a root canal or do an implant which ends up costing more so if we've had a patient that's broken one or two teeth somewhere else in their mouth then we'll go ahead and recommend that they get crowns because this material is very 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 um, strong and hard and just really last a long time um, also if you grind your teeth a lot and you're wearing your natural teeth down these are a very good teeth to have in your mouth especially in the back because you can keep uh, your teeth in the front from wearing down um, so the, that, that's uh, sometimes I'll recommend uh, getting crowns like this um, also sometimes I'll recommend somebody getting crowns if um, uh, there's a big uh, cavity in the tooth uh, that we can't uh, fill with the, just a composite material then I will recommend that they get a crown or if they break a lot of their teeth typically you know if you break your teeth a lot and your teeth are soft then these are going to be very good uh, viable options or if you've had a root canal on a tooth if you had an abscess and you'd had a root canal on your tooth then uh, you're likely going to need uh, a crown crowns are good crowns I love crowns they last a long time um, and you can put a crown basically on just about any tooth in the mouth uh, typically it's not recommended that you get crowns on third molars like this here uh, but we'll put crowns from uh, the second molars to uh, uh, first molars to the second molars back here and they last a long time what material your dentist chooses to use that's up to you and your dentist uh, typically in my practice we like using uh, the zirconia uh, material which is the new material that's been out on the market I'm gonna take this out again so you can see uh, what it looks like uh, there it is again that's just a little hollow thing I'm gonna sit it back in there like that again I like zirconia if it's in the back of the mouth uh, sometimes I like to make um, these um, uh, cast metals uh, uh, depending on what the patient can afford as well but these last a very very long time because they're very strong and then these gold crowns uh, are very very durable really uh, if uh, placed correctly uh, those are good uh, the porcelain fused to metals uh, these are good uh, especially for uh, like bridges and stuff uh, for like a dental bridge where you're making three unit bri uh, uh, 
bridge they're very good because those are less likely to break but they still give you the aesthetics um, of uh, of porcelain here on top because in the inside you they, ca they you put this metal here this cast metal and then on top you put this porcelain uh, which gives you a really really uh, good uh, aesthetic look uh, now these are again these are zirconium they, these are not mixed with anything um, there there you have it um, and then here again I have another one that's a um, this one is an implant one uh, this patient was missing uh, was missing a tooth back here we placed an implant um, after we placed an implant we made a crown like this they came uh, they're gonna come back we're gonna cement it and put it in like that now you can do a crown on the front teeth here on these front teeth you can go all the way down uh, to the back and do crowns you can do crowns on anything even if you have uh, sometimes if you have rotations in your teeth like this and uh, you don't like how that that looks uh, you can put a crown to kind of align up some of the things or you can even put a veneer there or some, and sometimes instead of doing braces you could that's an alternative that you can do uh, so crowns crowns are, are good they're uh, we recommend them to a lot of patients and uh, we are not saying this just to say this because I'm a dentist but the the functionality of them and what they do is really really good so anyways I hope you learned uh, what a dental crown is um, then if uh, you're looking for a dentist to do your work uh, we would love to do them here at Inwood Dental we're best in North Dallas um, we have had our practice for about five years now uh, we do a lot of crowns, we do digital crowns, we do odd impressions as well, and uh, crowns work very good if done correctly. Anyways, I hope um, you've enjoyed vi this video, and if you have, I would like it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that like button, and uh, we hope to see you and your friends in our clinic so we can do your crowns. Okay, thanks, bye.